to check it ready with me using the Harry Potter Back to Hogwarts palette. I really just wanted to jump into this palette again and show you guys another look with it. I actually have done, I've used all the shades in this palette and I'm just like working through using this palette more because I just can't get enough of this palette and I wanted to use it more this week. So I have been wanting to film like a blue look for you guys with this palette. So that's what I'm going to do today. And I'm really wanting to use the shade Patronus again. I think that's my favorite shade in the whole palette for the shimmers. I'm not going to put the palette on the keyboard because the last time I did that, like it muffled the sound so badly. So for my crease shade, I think I'm going to go with something a bit more cool toned. So I'm going to go into the shade Enchanted Keys and I'll just show you guys which ones I used um, at the end. I really should have put on some Vaseline last night though because my eye is literally so dry because I, um, I is so dry because I, like how many times can I rhyme? Um, because I did a Halloween look last night and my eyes are still pretty dry from that. So I totally spaced on putting on Vaseline last night because that's usually what I do to help my um, eyes not be so dry after doing like two looks. Because I still wore makeup to work yesterday because of course I had to work yesterday too. So I'm finally off tomorrow. I actually have to come in two hours earlier today. I've worked the past three days, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and I'm working tonight and I'm closing. Um, but unfortunately, one of my coworkers is under the weather, so <coughs> she's actually had the past uh, three days off, but apparently she can't come in today either. And my other coworker is by herself right now, and there really wasn't going to be anybody else that could really come in. So I offered to come in at 1 rather than 3, even though I wasn't supposed to be in until 3 today. But it's okay because it's extra money. And she did ask if I wanted to open rather than close. And I was like, mm, no. <laughs> I mean, I said I could, but then um, Sarah was just going to keep the same shift and I was going to come in uh, two hours earlier. So I don't think Sarah would come in two hours earlier anyway, because then I would need somebody to come in two hours early to give me coverage and I couldn't stay by myself for that long. So unfortunately, she's by herself right now, but it's only for two hours rather than four hours because I said I would come in at uh, at one so now I'm going to take that blue shade Patronus. The first shade I used was Enchanted Keys. So I'm going to use Patronus now. No, not Patronus. Ravenclaw. I'm sorry. I'm using Patronus on the lid. I'm using Ravenclaw as my mat. Duh. Gonna go ahead and use that to define. Okay, and then for the outer corner shade. Oh my god, I just cracked up at the group message for my um, job. It's just hilarious. Um, so then for the outer corners, I think I'm going to go into the shade Sorting Hat just so we can have something to deepen it up. And I think that'll be really pretty. Um, this is such a pretty, like, not super gray. It's kind of like a grayish brown, but I think it'll be a really pretty outer corner shade for this look. 
even though the blue could just stand on its own I did just want something to define a little bit just to add some definition so my coworker Sarah she um <laughs> she said slay in the group message <laughs> Because she was like, oh, we're doing really well, Slay. <laughs> and Jen literally asked, who is Slay? And I'm like, Jen, oh my god. Jen is like this older lady, and she doesn't really understand some of these terms that we use. And I just think it's so funny. Sarah said it's just a saying when things are good. <laughs> Okay, so once that is down, I'm really liking how that's looking. I'm just going to throw on some glitter glue and then we'll do the lid. Okay, so for the lid shade, like I said, we're going, going to go into the shade Patronus. And that's like a... This shade is like so frigging stunning on the lid. Like it really doesn't do it justice. I mean, that's still gorgeous. But on the lid, the shade is so stunning. And I've been dying to use it again because I love this shade. It's just such a gorgeous multi-dimensional blue. And it has like all these beautiful silvery sparkles in it. I'm obsessed. It's just such a beautiful shade. And all the shimmers in here have such a gorgeous wet texture to them and very highly metallic. But they're not like hard to work with and that was my problem with adept i actually just sold my adept amunet new palette on poshmark because i just could not get that formula to work for me <laughs> sorry that's too funny So my coworker asked, what is face all? And I'm like, it's not face all, it's face time. So she's just way behind the times. I swear old people sometimes don't know shit. <laughs> it's, o it's okay. You learn something new every day, right? So that's what she learned today is it's called FaceTime and it's a video chat. I don't know why that shade isn't really going on my inner corners, but we'll obviously play with that and get it to work off camera. I'm not going to waste too much time applying this, even though I've already, I mean, it's only been two minutes. It's really not that bad. I feel like the glitter glue kind of dried a lot, but... Like, it's honestly not the shade. I feel like it's more like the glitter glue that's just not helping right now. Sometimes if it's too wet, it makes it, like, not as pigmented. And then if it's too dry, it doesn't stick to the lid as good. Or doesn't help the shimmer stick as well. But, you know, you just gotta finesse everything before... It looks to what I want it to look like. But yeah, that Adept palette, I just could not get it to work for me whatsoever. Like, they're beautiful shades, but honestly, when I swatched them out again, I was like, you know what? I don't really feel like I need these. Like, I swatched the metallics again one more time. And I was like, meh, I just could care less honestly like they were just not really my cup of tea so I'd rather get Nomad or Om or Omad 
Nomad or Odin dye because I much prefer their formulas over Adept. I just cannot get Adept to work for me. And also Odin's Eye and Nomad are not as expensive as Adept. Like that was like a $60 palette. Odin's Eye palettes are usually under $50, but it's so worth it because you get like 16 shades and you get a multi-chrome and you get like some beautiful shifty shimmers that it's worth it. And plus I love their formula. And then um, I actually ordered the Merry Christmas palette today from Odin's Eye because they literally just came out with the most beautiful Christmas palettes the, um, a couple of days ago. And I've been watching literally every single tutorial or look that my favorite influencers have posted. And I just am obsessed with all the looks that people have been doing. And also, I think that the swatches are absolutely phenomenal. They're some of the most gorgeous shades I've ever seen. So I was like, I have to jump on at least one of these palettes. And also I've been wanting the Soul May blush and highlight or one of them for such a long time. Ever since the Soul Moon collection came out. Soul May, Soul Moon, whatever it's called. I think it's called Soul Moon. Um, so I ordered one of the blushes and one of the highlighters too. I put it on my Amazon card because... Odin's Eye just does not take afterpay, which friggin' sucks, but I figured to put it on there so I could have, you know, because I really just can't spend any more money this week because um, I went to Comic-Con, like, last Saturday, not this past Saturday, but last Saturday, and then I went to... um the wineries this past weekend so I was like I really can't put any more on my card so but I'm just so excited to get that palette I really wanted to get both but I was like let's get real Caitlin just pick one you're definitely not going to use them enough to have two and I just thought that the Merry Christmas sorry my ear got so red after itching it a little bit um, I just really felt like I was not going to use both enough, even though both of them are absolutely stunning. And I kind of want to see what other brands are going to release for Christmas, especially ColourPop. So I also skipped over the new ColourPop launch, which was like that grungy collection. And they're coming out with this gorgeous box of chocolates collection. I'm going to talk about this when I get my foundation. Just give me a second. Okay, so now I'm going to do my base. So I'm just going to use my Do It Setting Spray and then my usual e.l.f. Hydro Grip Primer. Um, or Power Grip Primer. Not the Hydro Grip Primer. That's the milk one. Um, but so I skipped over the grungy like ColourPop one because I don't know. I just felt like I didn't really need it. I mean, I looked at a few of the swatches of it. And after looking at the swatches, I'm like, meh, I don't know. Like, I have so many freaking ColourPop palettes. Do I really need to add another one to my collection? And there are still a few brands that I'm interested in trying. Like, I want to try Blend Bunny. I want to try um, Game Beauty. So I think I'm going to save November and December for possibly trying a new brand. I'm not really sure. Again, it depends on what ColourPop launches for holiday and what other brands are launching soon. I almost bought the Blend Bunny um, palette, but honestly, I wanted the Odin... As soon as I saw the Odin's Eye palette, I'm like, I really want that one over the Blend Bunny, and I just think that the Odin's Eye collection is just so beyond stunning that I was like, that's it. Like, I need it. So, yeah. So I'm going to use my Anastasia Luminous Foundation today. Just one of my all-time favorite foundations. So I really want to use it today. I'm just, I'm getting, I'm tired because I had a lot to do. I knew that this month was going to be crazy. Um, I just didn't think it was going to be this crazy. Like, I knew I had a lot of things going on this month. But your girl is tired. 
also along with trying to squeeze in time to film Halloween looks, it's kind of exhausting, so. But I've gotten two done so far, so not terrible. I really think I wasn't going to get any done at this point, but at least I've gotten two done. My goal was to do four looks, so hopefully I'll have the time to do the other two. I think I'm going to post this one that I filmed last night before this video goes up. I don't think this video is going to go up until next week anyway. Um, but I'm going to have a glam Alice in Wonderland look coming, so that'll be the second look that's going up. And then I have two more coming, hopefully. this The third one's going to be a glam look as well, and then the fourth one is going to be a little bit more creative. So I'm excited, but the other two looks I'm not going to put up until the week of Halloween, so I at least have a couple looks going up Halloween, so. I'll probably put one up in the middle of the week and then one on Halloween. But I really don't see myself getting done more than four looks, honestly. I might try and do five, but I'm not really sure. I did freaking almost, I think I did almost 10 looks last year. I was like, I knew I was not going to have the time to do that many this year. And again, I was just lacking inspiration this year. That I don't even think I would have 10 looks to actually create. But I'm glad I got a Disney look done because I was really not sure what type of Disney look I was going to do this year. So Alice in Wonderland, Wonderland, if I could speak English, was a pretty good idea. I sound like a dumbass sometimes. So I used the Urban Decay Stay Naked Concealer. I've just been talking a lot too because I did record a voiceover last night, so that kind of... <laughs> was a lot of talking as well because I couldn't really talk because my mom was being a bitch last night. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we all have those days. We all have those days where we don't get along with people, so. Very weird. So we're all trying to find out who FaceTimed last night because for some reason we all got a call about somebody FaceTiming the group at 12 a.m. this past, uh, last night and we're all like, who the heck called? I'm like, who the heck is calling this late? So we don't know who it was still. Kind of weird, honestly. Alright, so now I'm just going to put that underneath my eyes. I put a little bit too much on this side, but that's okay. I love this concealer. It blends out so beautifully. So, yeah. So, I got that because I was like, this is one of the most beautiful collections I ever saw. And also, I skipped over the Soul May palette when it came out, even though I was really tempted to get that palette as well. Oh, my God. What? Okay, I'm putting this on Do Not Disturb. I can't deal with this right now. Now they're just talking, and she's just talking nonsense, and it's annoying me. Like, she doesn't know, like, what if, like, you don't know what happened, why don't you just stop talking? Like, you're not helping anything. You're just spamming people's phones. So, whatever. I'm just gonna powder my under eyes. Like, I actually am covering her today. So, she's kind of annoying me. Like, right now. Like, honestly, it's getting really annoying. So, anyway... My lips are, like, so dry from last night. I'm just, I'm tired. But I finally actually passed out last night, probably because I was just so exhausted. Like, after I recorded the voiceover, I couldn't even stay up another, like, 15 minutes. And then I just passed out for, like, an hour. And then I was like, oh, I should probably turn the light off and go to sleep. 
and I passed out in like five minutes. I was just so exhausted. So at least I finally slept last night because I really have been struggling with sleep lately. So I'm just going to set my face with my pretty fresh powder, my favorite powder ever. I'm almost, hopefully I'll, excuse me, Jesus, hopefully I'll use this up soon. I still have not posted or even finished filming my products I used up video. There's also another video I never finished, which was my top three products in every makeup category. I might just scrap that whole video because it's been taking me so long to film it. I might not even post it, so... Okay, so I'm going to go back into the palette in a minute. I just want to do my eyeliner first. I'm just going to grab everything else that I possibly need for this. Because, you know, God forbid I find anything that I need. Oh, here it is. Right in front of me, actually. Wow, that's a miracle. <laughs> Okay, so for my waterline, I'm going to use the, D I'm pretty sure this one is called DTLA. Yes, and this is the blue liner from ColourPop. This is like one of my favorites. I use this liner all the time. And I knew it's, it was going to be perfect for this look. So also, uh, ColourPop's coming out with this new neutral collection, and it looks so pretty that I kind of want to get that over what I would have gotten from the grunge collection, because it looks like such a gorgeous neutral palette, and I'm kind of here for it. So I'm just going to do my inner corners really quick, and I'm going to take the shade Loomis, which is a really gorgeous, like, white shade. And I'm going to put that on my inner corners. It's so pretty. It's like a whitish gold shade. It's just beyond gorgeous. So, yeah, I got the Soul Moon blush that I wanted and the Soul Moon highlighter. When the collection initially came out, I skipped over the collection because I really didn't have money at the time to get it. But I knew I couldn't miss out on one of these Christmas palettes because they're just so gorgeous. Even though we're all still in Halloween mode, I feel like they're kind of launching them a bit early. But they are going to have them available until after Christmas. So it ends like the day before this year ends, which is the 31st of December. Okay. That looks stunning. So now I'm just going to clean up the eyeshadow. Okay, so I just went in with my L'Oreal Voluminous Primer. And now I'm going to go in with my mascara. And I'm going to use my Item Beauty Mascara. <sighs> Excuse me, sorry. I don't know if I'm going to have the energy to film another look tonight, but honestly, I really don't want to. Um, it's just been really taking a lot of energy out of me to film uh, Halloween looks when I can, because I've only been able to have time to film them at night, like after work, so... It's been kind of a lot, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to do another one. And plus, like I said, I need to give my skin a break tonight because I have to do two looks again if I wanted to do another one. I might, though. We'll see. Um, and then I'm just going to do my bottom lashes. Okay, so for my bronzer, I'm going to go in with my ColourPop bronzer, if I could actually hold it properly, um, in the shade Alviva Beach. And I'm just going to use that. I actually bought this shirt yesterday from work and I wanted to wear it today. It's like this cute like button down crop like floral long sleeve shirt and I thought it was so cute. Somebody came in and returned it from online and I was like that's mine. I was like I think it's so cute and it was on sale for only like $13.99 so I was like I thought that was a pretty good price. Okay. I mean, the sale was actually 40% off for like a week. 
and then they changed it already back to 30% off, which sucks because I obviously would have liked to get this at 40% off, but hey, it's still a really good price. Okay, so there's that. But yeah, I'm only putting like purchases that I like really want on my Amazon card. Like I'm really not going to try and run up the balance like because I really can't do that obviously because that would be dumb okay so then for my blush I'm gonna go in with the MAC blush in the shade into eternity and this is such a beautifully packaged collection from MAC this was probably the last thing I ever bought from MAC honestly like after that I really just haven't really been like too into their launches but their new Christmas launch looks really, really pretty. But 99% of the time, that stuff ends up at Marshalls or TJ Maxx. So I sometimes just wait when it's there. But honestly, I kind of stopped collecting MAC stuff because there's just been so much other stuff that I want. And plus, I have a decent MAC, collection, MAC collection that I don't really need anymore. So I have like a ton of blushes, a ton of highlighters. I really don't need any more. And this one is just so pretty. It's like a nudie pinky shade. And it's just gorgeous. I feel like I've been really having to build up the pigment on my cheeks lately. Because my cheeks have been getting a little bit textured doing all of these looks. My cheeks are like, no bitch. <laughs> okay. So for my highlight, I'm going to go into the Makeup by Mario highlight in the shade Pearl. And I'm going to use that as my highlighter. This one is stunning as well. It's like this gorgeous, like, whitish color. I haven't used it in quite a while. I was kind of overwhelmed with which highlight to use for today. I don't know why, because I've been rotating my highlighters quite a lot. And I've been on a no-buy for them ever since I posted my last haul video. Like I said, I haven't bought an inch of makeup since I posted that video. The last palette that I got was the Nomad one. And that I got like at the end of last month, so. But I had to get the Odin's Eye one. There was kind of like no question about that. That palette is so beyond gorgeous. The Christmas Eve one is stunning as well, but I might get it before Christmas is over. I'm not sure yet because, again, there are a few brands I would like to try. That would be my second Odin's Eye palette this year because I did purchase the Hella palette when it came out. And I love that palette as well. I've gotten quite a bit of use out of that palette. Um, That is gorgeous. I really love that highlighter. It's so pretty. Okay, and now we're just going to do the lips. Okay, so I just lined my lips off camera with the Oh Snap Lip Liner by ColourPop. And then I also just filled in my brows by, with the e.l.f. Wow Brow. And now for my lips, I'm going to go in with the Hermione Granger um, Luxe Velvet Lipstick. I actually have only worn this one once, so I wanted to wear it wearing the Harry Potter palette again. And I think this is such a pretty lippy for this look. It's like a pinky warm tone nude and I really like it it's so pretty uh, excuse me sorry Oh my god, you have to re-dip this one like so many times. It just kind of like lay down like a lip cloud though. I'm just going to finish it up off camera. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished look. I really love how it turned out. Um, I'm going to throw on my jewelry after this. So here are the eyes, the cheeks, 
and the lips. I really love this lippy with this look. So yeah, that's it. So please like and subscribe. Follow me on my Instagram at tabito819 and check out my Poshmark at the same handle. And I hope you guys all have a great day. Bye.